Um, I was in the gym and there was a lady on the machine next to me and she said, oh, well, it's really great because I have a flexible work schedule. So that enables me to work out when and where I like. And she started going on about what a great thing it was being able to flex work. And then what was interesting was a little while later, her organization removed flex work program attached to it. And so then she had to start coming to the gym at a completely different time. And in the end, she stopped coming to the gym altogether. And she said, it's because they've changed my flex work schedule. And so that's when I got into this idea, I need to talk to more people who are on flex work schedules. So I wrote to a very large high-tech multinational company and asked them if they would be willing to take part in the study. They said yes. So then they circulated an invitation to participate to specific employees. Normally I would expect maybe, I don't know, 20 or 30 volunteers. And there were literally tens and tens. They were coming in, you know, per second of people saying, yes, I'd really like to talk about my experience of flex working. It was coming from what they said was the top down. So senior management were trying to encourage people to work from home. But also, I think we have to be careful not assuming that the organization is doing it solely for cost reasons. You know, they also wanted to do it, for example, to encourage a more flexible attitude to how work can be done and where work can be done. And I think I was expecting to go in with the idea that when they're working from home, they kind of underperform because you've got the freedom and the flexibility to do whatever you like. But actually the reports from what they were saying indicated to me that they worked more rather than less. And what's interesting about this study is I also spoke to managers as well. And so the issue there was you have to trust them for sure. You can't kind of keep controlling or tr trying to control everything they do. But the other side of it, there has to be some kind of monitoring of performance. It's about trust. So trust came across as a really important concept and honestly I had not anticipated it at all because it hadn't appeared in the literature on flexible working. And the idea was, well, look, my manager trusts me to work from home two, three, four days a week and because of that I don't want to let them down. But the other thing that I found was, was really interesting, they also said we have to be careful not to work too much because there are no boundaries. You know, you go to work, you leave the office, that's it. But when you're at home, they said you could be constantly on your email. So managers sometimes distrust employees or they don't want them to work at home because they think all they're doing is socializing. Not so. They're actually working harder and more intensely. But people are coming into the office to specifically socialize, catch up with people. There was one person and she said to me, she actually goes into the office into the canteen to be seen because she said one day she was in the canteen and the VP of marketing was in the lineup behind her and he said to her why don't I know you so sometimes she would say go into the office I don't know three or four days a week just for lunch we know that networking is super important you know the impact of who you know creating networks at work and also, you know, meeting people, finding out about career opportunities elsewhere in the organization and so forth. So if you're cut off from that, then it can have quite a detrimental impact on your overall career trajectory. During the first couple of weeks, you know, you're not quite sure how to draw the boundaries. You know, the first week you may spend your time mowing the garden or cleaning the house or you've got the laundry on or, you know, you get your friends around or something. But then after a little while, they came to understand I really need to get my head around this. So for example, because they didn't have to travel into work, they would get up, maybe do an hour's work or perhaps get the kids off to school. So they take the kids to school, they come back and then they can work, get to work straight away. And then the kids come home say four o'clock from school and then they'd help the kids with the homework, the kids go to bed, and then these people would start again with their work, perhaps at six or seven o'clock in the evening, and work right through perhaps till 10 or 11 in the evening. So what you actually find, it's not that people are working less when they're working from home, but they're actually working according to their own family schedule. 